PC manufacturer System76 have decided to make their own Linux distribution. It's only an alpha right now, but we will be taking a look at it now on Linux Lounge. Welcome to Linux Lounge. Today we are taking a look at Pop OS. Now this distribution is made by the um, you know system dis system manufacturer rather um, company System76. Now um, this distribution is sort of supposed to be aimed at uh, creators and that which. Linux is probably the best choice for uh, prosumer creators. It's when you start getting more into the professional realms that Linux starts to become a bit mm, for that sort of thing. But um, now this distribution is going to be shipped with the System76 computers. Whether or not um, it will be available generally is yet to be seen. I assume it will, however, but the alpha is ready to download right now. And the first thing we get upon boot is this welcome screen. No, this isn't the um, live CD, this is actually the minute you boot. So presumably with this being, you know, shipped with computers, it would make more sense to have this now instead of during the installation process, because during the installation process it doesn't ask for any information. Um, you have some options to have your online accounts, which is pretty good for... Um, <coughs> Something that's going to be shipped with some computers, so let's just punch in our information right here. And you've obviously got the option to encrypt your home folder and that. We'll click next. Punch in a password, which should be all well and good. That's why. Kind of messed that one up a bit. Let's put that in like so. And let's hit next. And there we go, just start using Pop OS. It might take a while to do this. And I'm just gonna, there we go, we're back on. And we've got to the login screen. Just punch in our password like so. And here we are. Near enough. It's just loading. Nearly there, I would believe. And here we go, Pop OS. Now, um, the resolution of this recording is quite low because, of course, I haven't had the chance to install the VirtualBox Guest Edition, so I'm just going to go ahead and do that now. So, I am back, and I must say, first impressions is, this desktop is very nice. The wallpaper's nice, the theming's nice, and whatever font they're using is quite nice. Not sure if it's the standard Ubuntu GNOME one, but it looks pretty nice anyway. Um... Now the only thing I would say is, at the moment, this could change, this distribution still is in alpha, uh, there's not a lot that's massively different from the bog standard Ubuntu GNOME. Now um, that could be to keep it free of bloat, which would make logical sense for a um, sort of, you know, operating system that will ship with a computer as opposed to one that people put on themselves, but I don't know, it really isn't that different. And again, there's not really a lot that needs to be changed, the Ubuntu GNOME, so I'm fine with that. Now, what they have done, System76, they have kind of put their own theme on it. Now, if I can just find it, yes, it comes with the tweak tool. You've, you know, you've got your pop themes, which are rather nice. And you've also got pop dark and pop slim, which, there we go. Now I must say the pop dark looks very nice, kind of got a really nice sort of orange look to it. Um, you've also got some alternate theme, which yeah, doesn't really seem to do anything. Presumably that would be for something else, for another program or something. Got, you know, a few different cursors you can use and some shell themes, which I'm not sure what that will do. Yeah, it doesn't really seem to do much of anything. But you know, should you want to use all these options, they are there. Now I'm just going to set that back to pop and leave that pop dark because that's very nice. That's the main thing they've been doing in terms of themes and that. And I must say, that looks quite nice also. Now this distribution is aimed for A, creators, but also I think it targets new users in a sense because it ships with new computers, which a lot of new Linux users could be getting into Linux through that way. And to be quite honest with you, for the creators, I can see why they've gone with 
I did not mean to do that, uh, with GNOME, but for the new users I'm not really sure why they've gone with GNOME because it's quite hard to wrap your head around at times. And I don't know, there's nothing really wrong with that I suppose. Um, another thing they've got is a set of rather nice wallpapers. You know, you've got this one obviously. And um, let's open this up. You've got all these standard GNOME wallpapers of course. But then you've got a lot of System76 wallpapers. You've got some sort of darker variant to that, which looks very nice. You've got um, a lot of System76 branding wallpapers, which are really quite nice. In fact, I don't see why they didn't use that as the default. And then you've got some other stuff uh, sorted, odds and ends. Me personally, I think I'm going to go with that one. Now that is very nice. Um, and to be quite honest with you, it's about it. Certainly worth talking about because it is a nice distro, but it doesn't really do anything over the top. It's kind of just standard desktop operating system. I would highly recommend it, assuming they do continue allowing you to download this on any old PC. Um, but like I say, it's nothing unusual, but gets the job done at the end of the day. And that's kind of my first impressions of the System76 Pop! OS Alpha. Thanks for watching, I'll be sure to publish a review of the full version when it comes out. Please like, comment and subscribe. And that is it, thanks for watching.